Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. An iron bar was magnetized using the stroking method as shown below. So we need to identify the magnetic poles of the iron bar formed at parts X and Y. So most students are not very sure on how to determine the poles of the temporary magnet made using the stroking method. So before we look at this question itself, let me recap with you on how to determine the poles of the temporary magnet made using the stroking method. So firstly, do take note, for the stroking method to work, we need to use a magnetic material. So let's say, for example, this is our magnetic material. We need to stroke the magnetic material using a magnet. And we need to make sure we use the same pole of a bar magnet, which means if I'm using the north pole to stroke the magnetic material, I will need to use the north pole throughout. And we need to stroke it using the same pole of the magnet in only one direction. And we need to stroke it at least 30 times. So we stroke it this way at least 30 times. And let me draw in the arrows to show us the direction of our stroking. Now, the next thing we need to do is find out the poles of the magnet that we have created. So, our new magnet would have two poles on this end. Let me name the ends A and B. To determine the poles, let me teach you a method. So, take note of the pole that you are using to stroke. Over here, we are using the north pole and we are stamping here first. So we are stamping on A first. So A will be our North Pole. And therefore, B will be the South Pole. Let me give you another example. Let's say I have an iron nail. And this time, I'm using the South Pole of a bar magnet to stroke the nail. And take note of the direction at which this stroking method is carried out. For example, if I'm stroking it in this direction, like that. So the arrows will look something like this. And now for this example, we are using the south pole to stamp this part of the nail first. So this part will be the south. And therefore, the other side will be the north. Now, let's get back to the question. This question is a bit more challenging as now we are using two magnets to stroke the iron bar. But not to worry, we can apply the same technique as what I taught you earlier. But before that, what I would need you to do is to draw a line in between just like that. Now we cover half of the diagram using our hands. So let's say I cover half of this part like that. Now we are going to apply the same method as what we did earlier to solve this question. So we are using the south pole to stroke the iron bar in this direction. And where are we stamping first? We are stamping this part first. So this part would be the south pole. And therefore the other would be the north pole. So X is the north pole. Now what we're going to do is cover the other half of the diagram and solve for Y. So this time you're using the North Pole to stroke the iron bar in this direction. And where are we stamping first? We are stamping here first. So the North Pole is stamping on this end first, therefore it will be the North. And the other end would be the South. So Y is the South Pole. And therefore, we have gotten our answer. X is the North Pole and Y is the South Pole. So X is North, Y is South and therefore, our answer is number 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. 
Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!